Here, well, I'm Rusty Volk, the executive director of the Northern Wisconsin State Fair. And I get the great job of making sure everybody has fun. I do lots of things to have fun, like putting games together, putting and bringing animals here, bringing grandpas with little kids here. That's the most fun. That's what I like the best. So I've been doing it for 14 years. This is my 14th year. And you know, every fair's got its own little niche cranny that makes it look a lot better. Uh, we try to always improve everything. We try to change 30% of the fair every year. So it's never the same. You always got something to look forward to, something that's differently changed. So you know, when you came into the fairgrounds today, the entryway is totally different. Those old entry booths were there for 90 years. And it's about time we changed them, I know, but it takes money, it takes money to change it. So that's why we changed it this year. We had a little extra money and I've got a great staff that want to do some woodworking. There you go. <laughs> What's your favorite part about the fair? My favorite part of the Northern Wisconsin State Fair is truly to see the carnival come to town, which puts smiles on kids' faces and which makes everybody just feel like it's something different, something they don't have to drive a long way to get to. They can come right here close to home. And then just look at the amazing rides we have. We've got over 26 rides here, huge rides. And for a single day, our men you can ride it all day long. So it's wonderful that they can do that. Kids love it. Games, playing games, laughing, giggling. You know, the, the youth work very hard with their animals. And then at night they can come down and enjoy something different. It's fun bringing something this large to Chippewa Falls. And that's what it's all about. How do we bring people to Chippewa Falls? And how do we increase tourism? And it's a quality of life. When you get to go to the fair, you always end up with a smile on your face. So share it, pass it on. Why'd you start doing this work originally? I'll be honest with you. I never thought I'd be a fair manager. Okay, I, it was never, I never gave it a thought. Uh, only this property here was, uh, it was up for sale in 2007. And there were developers that had put an offer in to purchase the property, of which they'd have torn it down, and this fair would never have been here again. With that, they offered it to the community, and there was a capital campaign to save the fairgrounds, which was successful. And so with that, they, uh, they contracted with the previous owners of the fair to run it the first year. And a friend of mine who I adore, just, he's my best friend. His name is Chuck Gutter. And he's just a wonderful man. And I came out of church one day and he says, Rusty, you should be the fair manager. You need to apply for that job. And I says, what? Yeah, why not? So after looking at it and finding somebody to replace myself where I was at, I decided, why not? Let's give it a shot. And I've, I've enjoyed it ever since. I'm fortunate because this particular job as the manager allows me to bring all my life experiences together. 